Well, there's coat number one. Uh, I'm gonna let this tack off. What that means is I let it dry to a certain point where basically it's not gonna come off when I touch it with my finger. But if I put a second coat on, it'll still bond to itself chemically, not mechanically. And yeah, this is what I needed. I needed to use this gun. Uh, as you can see, it sprayed a lot better than the other one. You saw how long I was spraying with the touch-up gun. So now I will clean this up so that there's no red paint left in it so it doesn't harden. And in about 15, 20 minutes, I'll come out and put another coat. And I'll film that as well. All right, folks, we'll see you in a bit. All right, I figured I'd show you what it looks like with uh, one coat on it, just so you can get an idea. And I'll kind of show you the other side that I have not addressed yet. It hasn't had the chemical on it yet. It hasn't, uh, I haven't scraped it. As you can see, I missed a spot right there that I'll have to get on my second time. Uh, I got a little overspray there, but that's fine. All that has to be cleaned. Looks a little orange sometimes, depending on where the sun's hitting it. But it is red. It's that lovely fire engine red that uh, Rust-Oleum has, which is much closer to the original color. And as you can see, none of that is done on this side. The reason being is the tire is on this side, and I haven't uh, taken the wire wheel to it or put that chemical on it. So it basically stops right there is where I stopped with the wire wheel. And yes, that is red, even though on this it looks like it's orange because of the light, but it is very, very red. All right, that is coat number one. It really does look like Husqvarna orange. And like I said, once it flashes off, which is it drying to the touch, but still can chemically bond with more paint, I will put a second coat on. Okay, it's been about an hour. Uh, this stuff is uh, not drying as quickly as I would hope. So, uh, but now I can touch it and it's, my glove isn't sticking, which is what I want. It's been an hour, had something to eat. And now I'm going to do coat number two.
Now, one of the things you did see me do here is I played with this little nozzle right here. What that does is it makes the paint fan go from a wide to a very narrow. So if I'm trying to get underneath something, I put it to the narrow. That way I can get underneath something and hit one spot. You just have to be really careful because it puts a lot of paint in one spot. Um, I'm going to clean my gun. I'll show you what this looks like with the second coat. And I do not think that I'll be able to do the wheels. Uh, we do have some weather coming in. So in about an hour or so when this is close to dry, where nothing's going to stick to it if I put it on, I'm going to throw some plastic over it. So, All right, folks, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, this is coat number two. As you can see, now it looks a little bit more red. At least it shows up better on the camera. In real life, it is actually pretty darn red, which I like, which is what color this tractor is supposed to be. As I stated, I'm not going to be doing the tire as I've got cloud cover coming in and I want this to dry and I want to be able to cover it. So I'm going to start putting stuff away because I don't want it to get ruined. All right, that's it for this video. We'll see you guys later.